Hello, this is the Industrial Control Circuit Troubleshooting 1, 4th module. Now we are doing extra skill test number 3. The work order they received stated that the batch failed quality control check. So what's wrong? Let's dive in. Usually, I will try to check any anomaly by looking at the circuit component and all the external devices. Then I will run the process and try to observe any anomaly from the process. Okay, the word order say fail quality control check. What do you what does it mean by fail quality control check? Fail quality control check usually means that either the level ratio is not co correct. This can be due to the level switch where the level probe detach. So it cannot measure the correct reading or due to the aging of the level switch. The other factor can be due to the agitator mixing issue where the agitator did not mix well. It can be due to the agitator impeller detached from the agitator. The third factor that can cause the fail quality control check is the temperature. Either it is too high, higher than 70, 70 degree or too low, lower than 70 degree. It can be due to the aging of the heating element or because of the wrong setting or the temperature switch, etc. So I do first I try to find any anomaly from the external device and the circuit component. I don't see any problem here. Then I try to run the process and observe any anomaly. So I can see now the water level is start is slowly starting to increase. Okay, so now intake two later it will jump to agitator after that heating heater. Okay, now agitator contactor coil is energized and the switch is turned on. Now followed by the heater contactor coil is energized and is contactor switch is triggered to close and the water temperature is start to increase. When you reach 70 degree, the R4 relay coil will be energized. The relay coin is energized, you how we know, because we can see the LED will be turning on, showing that the relay coin is energized. Now it's turning on when you reach 70 degrees. However, the agitator and heater did not stop until 5 seconds later. So this may be cause the quality control check failed. We can look at the circuit diagram. This is a schematic diagram. As we know, schematic diagram and wiring diagram is two different things. Schematic diagram can be divided into two parts, the control or the loop drawing and the power drawing, electrical drawing. For wiring diagram, also can be divided into two different types. One is the power drawing, electrical drawing, another is a control drawing or the loop drawing or the signal drawing. Okay, as we know, when the water temperature reach 70 degree, the temperature switch will be triggered to close mechanically and the live current, the AC live current will flow through this path and energize R4 relay coil. And at the same time, it will trigger this R4 relay switch to close and this R4 relay switch to open. Okay, from what we observed just now, the R4 relay coil was energized where its LED is turned on, okay? It's actually when it reach 70 degree. However, the, both the agitator and heater lighting did not turn off immediately. As we know that when R4 is being energized, the R4 relay switch will be open. Then the current cannot flow through these two parallel circuit, and hence the energize all these two parallel circuit. Agitator and heat heated lighting supposed to be off immediately. In other words, the R4 relay coil is energized immediately when the water temperature reaches 70 degrees. However, the R4 relay switch here did not trigger to open immediately. It only start to open after five seconds. So I can deduce that. This R4 relay switch is aging, that's why it responds slowly. 
That's why we we it's the time that we need to change the R four relay. In order to prove that we can measure the voltage at the R four point four. When we measure, we put the black probe at the ground point and the red probe at R four point number four. Okay, when the R four relay coil is is energized. Okay, the R four four initially we measure two hundred thirty volt. You see, when it open, it will measure zero volt. Okay, we can put the black probe at the ground point and the red probe at the R four point number four to measure the AC voltage and run the process again to confirm our analysis is the correct one. Now the water level, the fluid level is start to increase. After it reach eighty five percent, it will stop and and the agitator will turn on. Then the heater will turn on. When it reach seventy degree, the R four relay coil will be energized, and you can see it is eleven LED will be turned on. And the R four relay switch. Okay, at point number four, we Im immediately trigger to open, just like this. R four four will be trigger to open, so register zero volt. Now it's supposed to register zero volt. It don't. It only register zero volt after five second. It's showing that the R the R four relay is actually aging, responds slowly. So it's the time. It's now time to change it. So now we normalize the multimeter. Later, we switch off the power supply. Okay, cut off the power supply. Perform the lockout takeout. Verify the lockout takeout is done properly, and then we replace the R four relay. After that, remove the lockout takeout, and then switch on the power supply and run the process again. Maybe we can measure the AC current again at R four point number four. Okay, R four point number four. Okay, now you can measure the voltage because current the current flow through here. Once the it reach seventy degree, current will go to R four to energize R four relay coil. Hence, will trigger the R four relay switch here to open. Thus, register zero volt. Okay, see here, when you reach seventy degree, it's supposed to register zero volt. Yes, it register zero volt. So now I don't see any problem here after we change the relay. So I expect the batch indicator status is passed. Yes, it is passed.